Hello, little sprouts. We're going to read the Just Ask book, What is a Space Shuttle? What is a Space Shuttle? Hi, my name is Christopher. This is Christopher the Mouse, and he's going to be joining us for this book. Look at that. I've never seen anything so big. What is it? What is this, friends? That's a space shuttle. It's a very big aircraft that goes from Earth into space. It travels around Earth and then returns. Christopher says, unbelievable. First, let's look inside. This part is the flight deck. It has computers and thousands of dials. Very interesting. This part of the cabin is the living area. There is a place to fix food. There is space to exercise and wash up. And there are bunks to sleep on. Comfortable? When do we eat? What is that? This section is where the payload or cargo is kept. Each payload is special equipment used to study about space. The space shuttle has a crew of astronauts. One of the astronauts is the commander. The commander is in charge of the mission. He is saluting the commander. Another astronaut is a pilot. The pilot is trained to fly the shuttle and is second in command. The mission specialist is the head of the payload studies. There may also be payload specialists on board. These people do not have to be astronauts, but they are trained to work with payloads. See these up here? That's where the commander and the pilot are going to sit because they have to have access to all these buttons and gadgets to fly the space shuttle. People on the space shuttle have to learn a lot about space travel. They practice everything that will happen on the trip in order to be ready to go into space. Christopher's saying, they look busy. When the day for the trip comes, the crew boards the space shuttle. People in the mission control room check every system carefully. They make sure the shuttle is ready to blast off. This is the mission control room. This stays here on Earth, and all these people with all their computers watch the space shuttle and make sure their systems are all working properly. Five, four, three, Two, one, zero, blast off. The power of the three main, main engines and two rocket boosters gets the space shuttle into space. Once the shuttle is away, the rocket boosters drop off. The tank where the fuel was stored drops off next. There goes the fuel tank into the water. So the space shuttle no longer needs these parts when it goes into space, so it will drop them off and they will fall back down into the water, the ocean. As the space shuttle travels through space, the payload specialists complete their tasks. These are the tasks that they're completing. It might be just to gather data on space. It might be to deliver parts to the International Space Station. They have many different missions. When the mission is finished, the shuttle changes its course it turns and heads back to Earth. As the shuttle re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, the shuttle glides in large S-curves back to Earth. The ground crew checks the shuttle. The astronauts are checked too. The experiments go to the scientists to study. Another space shuttle trip has made history. Wow, lots of activity. 
Now you know about a space shuttle. Yes, I do. And we do, too.